Hi, I'm John Wesley, and I'm going to uh, reveal one of my crazy tour stories. Uh, in the late 1990s, early 2000s, I was playing with a Scottish artist named Fish, the F-I-S-H, Fish. And uh, he was uh, a very gregarious man who could drink quite a bit. And when you were in his entourage, you were encouraged to drink quite a bit. Well, we did a tour playing for the British Royal Marines where we went to Kosovo. Uh, we went to the Grand uh, Central Hotel in the center of Kosovo uh, right after the war had happened. And um, so there was no government there and uh, it was uh, run by NATO, but NATO was negotiating with the people that were in power at the time, which was the Russian mob. So, <laughs> or let's just say mob from that area. So we were staying in the Grand Hotel and we'd been there and, uh, uh, for a few nights and it was our last night. And as part of this CSE tour, we had some dancing girls with us, we had our crew with us, and we had, were in a bar called the Gurkha Bar. Uh, 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 and it was a bunch of, you know, just XSAS guys hanging around, all these mercenary guys that were getting extra work working in Kosovo at the time. And so it turned into a raucous night. At the end of the night, we all go to bed. Well, one of the, the light men in the, in the band decided to take one of the dancing girls up to their room and keep drinking. Now, you got to imagine this is about five or six in the morning. So they're drinking, living the rock and roll dream, and he's up on the uh, 10th, 11th floor of this hotel. And he decides that they want to live the rock and roll lifestyle. And at that time in Kosovo, television wasn't really happening. And in all the rooms, all we had was this little black and white TV about that big. It just had a couple channels of, of stuff that, you know, in language we didn't even know what it was, uh, just that would come in from other countries. So they thought it would be really funny if they played the rock and roll card and took the TV and threw it out the window. So in Pristina, in Kosovo, basically a brand new war zone, run by, God only knows, let's say the mob, this guy decides to take the television and chuck it out the window. Well, he throws it out the window and it didn't land on the ground. It went down onto the roof of the breakfast nook. There was like this extension out of the side of the hotel. And it lands and kind of goes almost through the whole roof of the breakfast nook. Well, at about 6.30 that morning, and what we learned 6.30 most mornings, certain individuals that were running Kosovo at the time were meeting in that breakfast nook. And they weren't happy. So they sent their big guys around searching the entire hotel, trying to find who threw that TV onto the top of the roof of the hotel where they were having their breakfast meeting. Needless to say, when they found him, he was in a lot of trouble and we had to call in the Brits. The Brits had to come down, NATO, the Brit NATO guys had to come in, negotiate with the guys to get our guy back. And then when we got our guy back, it was uh, determined that he would have to buy the TV that he had trashed. Now the TV had a remote but it was only about that big. It was a little, I mean, at most a $60, $70, $100 TV. $850 later, he was set free and he got to keep the remote as a souvenir.